too old for all this excitement, Joe. <laughs> you see any blood? <sighs> Not yet. But since we witnessed Spats Colombo rub out Toothpick Charlie and his gang, we're gonna be next. <sighs> we gotta get out of town. <sighs> yeah, with the help of your bass, good old Jerry, my saxophone. <sighs> Anything today? Oh, it's you. Thank you. Joe, get back here. Look, Nellie, if it's about last Saturday night, I can explain everything. What a heel. I spent four dollars to get my hair marcelled, buy me a new negligee, bake him a great big pizza pie, and where were you? Yeah. Well, where were you? With you. With me? Don't you remember? He's got this bad tooth that got impacted and his whole jaw swelled up. It did? Uh, boy, did it ever. So I had to rush him to the hospital and give him a transfusion, right? Right. We have the same blood type. Yeah, type O. Oh. Nelly, baby, I'm gonna make it up to you. You're making it up pretty good so far. The minute we get a job, I'm gonna take you out to the swellest restaurant. How about it, Nelly? Has Polyakov got anything for us? Oh, we're desperate. Well, it just so happens he is looking for a bass and a sax. <laughs> Did you hear that, Joe? So what's the job? It's three weeks in Florida. Florida! The Seminole Ritz in Miami. Transportation and all expenses. <laughs> Isn't she a bit of terrific? <laughs> Come on, let's go talk to Sig. You better wait a minute, boys. He's on the phone. They were all packed and ready to go, and what happens? The saxophone runs off with the Bible salesman, and the bass fiddler gets herself pregnant. It's three weeks in Florida. What do you mean, who is this? Sig Poilikoff. Get me Drexel 9044. He's up now. Hey, Sig, can we talk to you? I want to speak to Bessie Malone. On the level? What is it? It's about the Florida job. The Florida job? Yeah, Nelly told us about it. Oh, we're not too late, are we? What are you, a couple comedians? Get out of here! Long distance? Get me William Morris in New York. Well, you need a bass and a sax, don't you? Yeah, the instruments are right, but you are not. I want to speak to William Morris. Oh, what's wrong with us? You're the wrong shape. Goodbye. The wrong shape? What are you looking for, a hunchbacks or something? <laughs> it's not your backs that worry me. Well, what kind of band is this, anyway? You gotta be under 25. Well, we can pass for that. <laughs> and you gotta be girls. Oh, we could No, we couldn't. Uh, you, Mr. You Morris. Mean it's a, a girls' band? Yes, that's what he means. Ha <laughs> ha, good old Nelly. I ought to wring her neck. Yes, I'm holding. Wait a minute, Joe. Let's talk this over. Oh, oh why couldn't we play? Last year, when you booked us with that Hawaiian band? Grass Gert? Oh, we're going. Hooky la. What's, what's with hooky, him? hooky, 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 hooky. No, and he ain't been eating so good either. He's got an empty stomach and it's gone to his head. But Joe, three weeks in Florida. We can borrow some clothes from the girls in the chorus. Yeah, you flipped your wig. And now you're choking! No. Pick up a couple of second-hand wigs, a little padding here and there. This ain't gonna work. But we you call ourselves uh, uh, Josephine and Geraldine. Yeah, Josephine and Geraldine, huh? Mr. Morris! You know what? <laughs> they ain't gonna work. What are you talking about? You know what? Why did you work? Polycock, Chicago. Why did you Do you really want it? Yes. No. Yes. No. It's your funeral. Funeral? Whose funeral? We gotta shave. Uh, legs too. 
<laughs> Come on, Geraldine!